Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. Last time we um, entered Brinstar, or, well, the new area of Brinstar. So let's go um, explore that, shall we? Why not? I like how when you uh, load it up here, you get a nice little uh, mini-map. Plenty of places to explore, let me tell you. Classic loading fanfare, good stuff. Right, let's go. And of course, once again, I'd like to remind you all that this music is amazing. Just saying. You, you are a nasty blighter. Right, I, which way should I go first? Left seems like the logical place. Yep. All right. Ah, these things. Probably recommended not to kill these, or to land on spikes, because, yes, killing them will darken the room. Ah, I can demonstrate it once, I'm sure. Yes, yeah, like so. Plus, I get my health back. Um, yeah. Pretty simple room. Spikes don't do that much damage, admittedly. Ha, huh, a missile refill room. Yep, they'll fill all your missiles, as, as the name suggests. Strange that you have to go through all of this just to get to it. Well, hardly an ordeal, but you know. But it is when I'm playing, apparently. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, let's um, let's not do that. Let's try not to make a fool of myself. Can still barely see. Good, good. My goodness, you do run fast in this game, even without the speed booster. I believe you can go down here. Or, no you can't, because that's a power bomb block. Okay. Fair enough. Didn't mean to pause there at all. Needed to ready my missiles. Right. Goodness, I love the aesthetics in this area. Another sort of fungal area here. I like it. I don't like getting attacked by these things. But yes, the fluidity of the aim in this game is really good. Also, bomb blocks, okay. This, uh, these are speed booster. Yep, I thought as much. So those can't be hurt by uh, regular blasts. I assume missiles can hurt them, but they're probably not worth your time. Ooh, I remember this room. We need to head up to the top. But first, I think some exploring might be in order. That's a power bomb. To what the hell? The okay. You you remain stuck. You aren't. Okay. Right, so down here, aha, thought as much. Missile tank, love it. And if, look at those very obvious bomb blocks to the right. In before their missile blocks. Nope, I thought as much. Ooh. And down here in this little niche we have the charge beam. Oh, I love the charge beam. Pretty much, same as before, hold the button, charges it to full, and boom. I think it does roughly the same damage as a missile, maybe more power bomb blocks. Whoops. Okay. Ah, there we are. But yes, we can't really do anything in that direction for now, so what I'm going to do is head up here. Also, another funny thing with the charge beam, there's a special technique. Charge it to the full, roll into a morph ball, and you'll drop five bombs at once. In a sort of rather fluid pattern, I like it. It's a very situational move, but I, I guess it works in some situations. Never found that many in which it's been useful, but hello, side hoppers, how are you today? And of course, the, um, actually, I don't think the charge attack is present here, but... Oh well. Now then. Let's try and climb to the top. 
again. Goodness, I'm all over the place today. Alright. God damn it, side hoppers. If that isn't an obvious niche, I don't know what is. Plus, it sort of blatantly says there's a save room over there. And, yep. I would very much like to save, not gonna lie. It's one of my favourite things to do, I'll have you know. Right. Can I shoot that? No, I can't. But, yes, um, side hoppers, no way. I'm not touching you with a barge pole. Thank you, Mistledore. Oh, key hunters. Notorious for doing uh, decent amounts of damage in all the games, I believe. You, I'm sure you remember them from the Zero Mission if you watched that. And Fusion as well. Or was it only Fusion? Probably only Fusion, actually. My bad. Um, no larva here. And oh, yes. I know exactly where this is headed. I've only got so much health left, but I'm sure I can take it. If we jump through here, we meet our first real boss. Spore Spawn. This thing's a creepy thing. Basically, it will uh, swirl around for a while. Go into your morph ball form and you can dodge it. Shoot the spores when they appear, and... Given a small bit of time, that will open, allowing you to, if I can bloody make it in time, fire a missile. And whoa, that was, <laughs> that was quite precise there. Admittedly done entirely in panic, but oh well. But really, if you just remember to stay in morph ball form... I keep trying to hold R to activate my missiles. I am way too used to the GBA games. I've not played this in such a while. But yes, as long as you um, stick to morph balling, you should be fine. That's pretty much all there is to say about this boss. I was hoping I could get another one in there, but nope. This boss music is nice as well. Very creepy, very unsettling. I think it's technically the mini-boss music. Because this guy isn't, after all, one of the big bad space pirate commanders that we're after. But oh well. Sort of manoeuvring around these spores at this point. But yeah, it's not the quickest boss to defeat, but you know. And also, notice the um, door beneath has changed colour. I wonder what item we could be getting here. Anyone who's familiar with the other games will know exactly what I need. Oh god. Yeah, that's when he starts um, building up with the speed a little. Okay there, Spore Spawn. Spores start falling faster. It's almost mesmerizing the way he moves, isn't it? My goodness. Swoosh. Dear me. Okay. Darn, couldn't get the second hit in again. But, um, yes, yeah, Spore Spawn, would you care to die? It would be nice of you. Oh, goodness, yeah, he's getting quite dark now. He's very nearly finished. I shouldn't really be setting off ball bombs off. Don't want to bounce into him. Not preferred. Also, you. There we are. And a nice little effect. The entire place seems to die and petrify.
He's now safe to stand on. Fancy that. Boss music keeps playing. Bit weird, but I'll take it. Unlucky spore spawn. Now we hop up here. And receive a new item. Well, not quite yet. I believe it's in the next room. Yep, down here. And yeah, no surprises that it is the super missile. Unlike in um, Zero Mission slash Fusion, these are a separate weapon. No way, Zero Mission had them as a separate weapon. Whoops. But yeah, unlike Fusion. Yeah, it's just um, select again and you can select them. They have as much power as five regular missiles as before. But uh, yeah, pretty much. Always good to have around, not gonna lie. Great for bosses, as you'd expect. Oh god. I believe super missiles can also be used to um, open red doors instantaneously. That is to say, without needing to use five missiles. Oh dear. Yeah, not getting me this time, I'm afraid. But yes, now I do believe we have leave to go this way. To wherever it is I was going. Yes, fire at this door here. Yeah, we're getting quite deep in now. Soon we'll be hitting a new area. Of Brinstar, no less. I'm oh, sorry. Wouldn't happen to be able to go in here. No, that's another pipe. Right, okay. I believe there is a hidden area here. Nice. With my wall jumping skills, I was able to get another missile pack. Lovely stuff. Usually I believe you'll need to wait till a high jump for that, which isn't that far off admittedly, but yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Ah, this door. Just like the ones in Fusion, shoot it from, well, the obvious target, and you will open it from that side and that side only, unless you have a certain beam. You annoy me so much. Also, is this another running? Yeah, it is another running bridge. Kiana Sprint. <laughs> I just love how fast you run in this game, it's great. Ooh, also, I believe we're just about here now. Ah, here we are. Lower Brinstar. Also with amazing music, let me tell you. Also, was that sequence breaking? Yes, that was. Yeah, don't really want to go up there just yet. Because, yes, I, I have sequence broke the hell out of this game before. But not this time. But, yes, this music was so good that these things are leeching life from me. No, rather that um, it was remixed in uh, Metroid Prime 2. But again, that's something I'll get to later. Right, what's in here? A save room, perhaps? No, an energy refill room. It'll do. I do not see why not. Ah, lovely music. Background's great as usual. Super Metroid really did go out of its way in uh, creating a good atmosphere. Not gonna lie. Oh, you are annoying. These things cannot be killed. But they will be more than happy to kill you. Oh, I can get up here. Can I? Get in here, perchance. Oh, now I remember. Have to go in 
coming from underneath, but not yet. Like I said, I could very easily see guns break this, but not yet. Ooh, I like this place. If I recall, yeah, we've just set foot in Meridia. Little um, early bird cameo there. Yes, this glass tube will be good to remember for later. No surprises why, but yes, carrying on, and returning to Brinstar, if only for a brief moment, actually, if you bomb this, don't go on, I might as well show this off while I'm here, this might look familiar, this certainly isn't an evil lair, not in the least, but yes, also no surprises for the item we need to get to reach it. And no surprises for where we have to go next. Because if you remember, what lies beneath Brinstar is somewhere very, very hot. Yep, and that would be Norfair. Great place. Don't like it quite as much as Brinstar, but I'll take it. Right, what's in here then? Is this a save room? Nope. Oh, I managed to get myself locked in here. I don't believe I can get here until speed booster. Thankfully they give you a way out. They wouldn't want to trap you in there now, would they? Right, what about here? Ah, it's a warm room! Ha <laughs> ha, no! Yeah, kind of going to need to vary a suit for that. That's a power bomb door. Ooh, this is a missile door. This is probably the save room. Or an energy tank. Why not? Probably going to need it. So that makes two energy tanks now. Also a hidden area. Let's find out what lies within. Aha! And already we got the high jump boots. Great stuff. No surprises as to what it does. And also, um, unlike other games, but well, later games ironically, you can uh, toggle the high jump boots on and off, as well as everything else should you choose to. Don't know why you'd choose to disable things like that, but... Yeah, anyway, we can now jump really, really high. Like, unbelievably high. Mega high, even. But, um... <clears throat> more missiles. I like it. Ah. Strange, I almost expected to get the jump ball, but no, that's a separate item in this game. And the door's locked. Uh, silly thing. I do believe we can go further down, but I don't think there's any sense in doing so. Because with the high jump boots, we can now gain access to that area. Yep, there's no going through there. <laughs> Alright, might as well check out this last door on our way out. Why not? Ah, here's a save room. Glorious. In that case, before we head back up, I think I'll uh, stop here for now. But yes, next time we'll head back up to Brinstar to see what the hell is going on up there. See you all then.